Hey writers, welcome back to Writer's Workshop. Writers, I was moving some things around the other day and I saw some charts that we used back in our small moments unit. And when I picked them up, I reread some of the things that we had learned from George McClements in his book, Night of the Veggie Monster. One thing I noticed is that we had learned about pop-out words and speech bubbles. And I realized we can use these same cool techniques in our teaching books. We can use pop-out words and speech bubbles. I know it sounds crazy, but it really works. We know tons of ways to teach information. We use comparisons, examples, answering our readers' questions. Pop-out words and speech bubbles are also things that writers use in teaching books. Today, I want to teach you that writers use craft moves like pop-out words and speech bubbles in teaching books to give more information or make certain information stand out. So let's take a book. At, let's take a look at my Fort Worth book. Y'all get confused sometimes. Book, look, they both say ook, they rhyme. But let's take a look at my Fort Worth book. I have a chapter called Restaurants. I want to write, there are good restaurants in Fort Worth. People should eat in lots of different restaurants. Writers, can you help me see if there's any of those techniques and strategies that we could use to emphasize certain words and information in this text? So I've written, I'll read it out loud for you again. There are good restaurants in Fort Worth. People should eat in lots of different restaurants. Ooh, I hear some of you telling me I could use pop-out words. I know. This chapter is all about different restaurants, so maybe I can use those pop-out words to accentuate the key words about the restaurants. I think the most important words in the sentence are the word is the word lots and different. I can make those words important by making them big and bold, just like we did in our small moment stories. Whoa, that looks good. Let me read it to you. There are good restaurants in Fort Worth. People should eat in lots of different restaurants. That looks great, friends. Thanks for helping me write my pop-out words. No one will miss that information. And you know what? To make sure no one misses it, you'll see I also drew a little person who is saying more about the restaurants. They're saying, come eat our delicious food. I added that little speech bubble right there. So friends, let's look. We have learned so many strategies, and we'll add this one to our chart of how can I teach my readers. We talked about how we can think about different questions our readers might have. We can write in twin sentences. We can include pictures. We can make a comparison. We can use size, shape, and color words to describe what we're talking about. We can give examples, use a picture to add more information, and like we've added today, we can use big and bold pop-out words, and we can use speech bubbles. Writers, you can work with a partner to see if you want to use pop-out words or speech bubbles to make the most important part of your writing stand out. You can tell your partner what your plan is and explain how you chose what words to accentuate. What made you realize that those words are so important and those are the ones that we want to stand out or be used in speech bubbles? Writers, the important thing is you can always look back at old charts and notice the ways that you revised your small moment stories, and then you can try bringing these techniques to your information writing. Turn and tell a partner or whisper to me, what are some techniques that you used in your small moments unit that you might try in your information writing? Ooh, I heard one friend talk about using action words. So if that friend was writing all about soccer, and how to play soccer, perhaps they tell it part by part. They describe the actions of what you do to kick a soccer ball into a goal. That's a strategy we learned in our small moments uh, unit, but it also can be applied to our information writing as well. You friends have thought of so many great things. And writers, I want you to know we only have a few final days to improve our writing before our big celebration of this unit. You now know lots of ways to add last minute improvements to your writing. And I know that you'll use every second today you can in these final moments to make your writing great. So writers, today I want you to choose one of your stories, just one, that you are going to publish officially for our celebration. Writers, you have revised your books with tips from your partners, classroom charts, and mentor texts. And you still have one last tool I want to remind you about. It's our information writing checklist. 
in the information writing checklist are things that you're writing absolutely must have. So let's use this time to check that you do each of these things in your writing. And if you don't, you can still add it in or make changes to your writing. Our next session will be an editing day. And then before you know it, it will be celebration day. So let's look at this information chart and see how you can make your writing great. I'm going to read it through and you think, and maybe you give yourself a thumbs of where you're at on that and make note of what you need to work on and what you're already rocking and doing great with. I taught my readers about a topic. I named my topic in the beginning and got my readers' attention. I told different parts about my topic on different pages. I wrote an ending. I told about my topic part by part. I put facts in my writing to teach about my topic. I used labels and words to give facts. I used all I knew about words and chunks to help me spell. I spelled the word wall words correct and used the word wall to help me spell even other words. I ended sentences with punctuation. I used a capital letter for names. I used commas in dates and lists. All right, friends, so hopefully you were able to give yourself some thumbs and see what you're doing great on and what are some areas you want to work on as you prepare to publish this final work. Our next session, like I said, it'll be editing day and soon it will be celebration day. But friends, it's time for you to work on your one story and make it great and add all of those improvements. All right, it's your turn, friends. Writers go write.